Are you certain or struggling with hearing the voice of God? Do you find yourself questioning if it's God speaking to you when you feel a nudge, a whisper, or a thought in your mind? If so, please set a few moments aside right now to watch this video. Now, before we start our journey, there is something we need to address. It is noble to desire to draw closer to God and to commune with Him. Part of the challenge in doing so involves the distractions and attacks of the enemy who works to prevent us from drawing closer to God. And for the most part, we must be aware of this and take steps to overcome such actions. There is one thing we must consider that we often disregard and therefore move freely in our, uh, our lives, hindering us and hindering our relationship and communication with God. And what I'm referring to is the hidden part of our sinful nature that was provided to us through Adam and Eve. In the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 8, it tells us, And they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. And they heard the voice of the Lord. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. Mesopotamian culture, terminology, and language have demonstrated that the word translated day also has the meaning storm. It is often connected to the deity coming in a storm of judgment. The word translated sound is often connected to thunder. So if this is the correct rendering of the word in this passage, then they heard the thunder of the Lord moving about in the garden in the wind of the storm. Being this was Adam and Eve's first time experiencing a storm in their flesh helps me to understand the, their fear and why they tried to hide from God. I, I grew up in a home uh, where we adhered to the concept that in a storm, when there was thunder, God was talking. Out of respect to God while he was uh, talking as children, we had to sit still and turn off the television, uh, stay off the phone. We had to be quiet. When accompanied by lightning, we even had to cover the mirrors in the house. Now, I never knew the why of the whole covering the mirror thing. But did anybody else grow up in such a household? I, I know I can't be the only one. 